Okay, uh, guess what time it is? No, not howdy duty time. It is Firefly cargo crate time. And I have to say I've got a pretty good idea of what this month's theme is because of what's on the outside of the box here. It says, uh, wait, yeah, South Down Abbey. And <clears throat> if I'm correct, that means this month's theme is Shepherd Book. Of course, in honor of Ron Glass, who died recently. And uh, I have to say that I did like Shepherd Book as a character. However... They just didn't have the time in, in the in the show to to really flesh him out and figure out what they were going to do with him. Uh, it, like I said, a very interesting character. Uh, uh, you know, you got those glimpses of what was going on in his past or, or what he may have done, and it just tantalized you to want more. Tantalized, yeah. Well, yeah. That's I guess that's that's the way to say it. Not not very elegantly said, but it was said. Uh, but yeah, you, you wanted to know more, and unfortunately, we just didn't get the opportunity to. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, on, the, on the other hand, I did enjoy Ron Glass in the old Barney Miller series, uh, which I don't think stands the test of time that well. It was well written, but it's still uh, well, it's still an interesting, uh, still an interesting show. So probably worth taking a look at if you get the chance. But again. You know, uh, it's from the 70s, so, <laughs> you know, yeah, <laughs> okay. So anyway, let's get on with it. We have a little, uh, we have a little Cubit figure, and let's see what we get in this one. Rip into it, just tear into it, I don't care. And, oh crap, what's his name? Um, with the hat. Uh, 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 crap! I'm, I, I can't. I can't come up with the name. Oh, uh, uh, what is his name? Okay, you know what? To the book. <laughs> wow. Oh, that is okay. You know what? And that's something I have not read yet. Uh, is Serenity Shepherd's The Shepherd's Tale, and apparently. This does give you a lot of backstory in the Shepherd book, but again, I wish they'd had the chance to do it during the series. And so, anyway, uh, driving on, uh, we do have the signal, and let's see, uh, let's see who this is. Uh, it, it, not Bowler. That's that's the wrong name. Um, it's driving me crazy because because now I can't remember it. And Badger, yes, Badger. That's who it is. So yeah, Badger. And then of course we have a, uh, have a, this crate has been curated by South Down Abbey sticker, which is I think kind of cool. And what do we got here? Ooh, hey, if you're a steampunker, this might be your speed. That's actually kind of, that's actually kind of nice. It is. A Firefly Serenity pocket watch. And unfortunately, let's see, it's not, well, let's see if I can get the time set, but uh, it's one of those that you have to wind. Let's see here, if I can figure this out <laughs> on camera. Yep. Yeah, there we go. I think you can see the second hand working. Yep, sure enough. So uh, it's not as weighty as you would normally expect a uh, as you would expect a uh, a pocket watch to be, but it ain't bad. So let's make sure I've got the right time set on here. 234. Okay. And I think that should work. So again, there we go. Pocket watch. Pretty cool. Uh, again, especially if you're doing the steampunk thing and uh, you need a pocket watch. So there's uh, uh, there's one for you. So although, again, Firefly's not really steampunk. So 
go. Put that back in its carrier, and I'll, we'll see what I do with that. And then, of course, I'll come back to the pin. Uh, the pin definitely needs its time. Now, we also have the Haven Blue Sun System uh, Planet Trading Card, Flash Card, eh, whatever it is. Which again, I'm not really into those, but if uh, but again, if it, it, it it's one of those things that if you were going to make a project out of them and you really wanted to do something kind of different with these, you could put these in a picture frame. I think one of those multi multi picture picture frames, and then you'd have something that something pretty cool that I think you could hang on the wall. So with that, we have a little damn hero, Shepherd book figure. And I think that is a very, I'm not gonna take it out of the box, but I think that's a very, very classic pose right there. Uh, I think it does capture Shepherd Book pretty well. And just, just, like the, just like the little damn figure, hero figure for, um, what's her name? Uh, Saffron, for Sa that Saffron, and boy, I cannot remember the characters this, this time around. So uh, we got one, Got one more thing, of course. We've got another t-shirt. And, okay, there's nothing on the front, but we do have something on the sleeve here. And let's see what it says here. Enjoy. Okay, yeah. There we go. Nah, so-so. But, really digging the pin. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, more than a couple times said that yeah, that's where I'm going to end up is in, is in that special hell. So uh, I do like the pen. I think we're. Uh, I, I think this was a pretty good crate, a uh, pretty good Firefly crate. Uh, uh, a couple of them have been a little on the on the weak side, but uh, none of them have really been bad, if if you know what I mean. So the pocket watch, like I said, don't know what I'm going to do with it, but certainly if I were to do a steampunk uh, steampunk thing, this would be an excellent prop for it, and. Um, you know, little badger minifig, and, and not really into those that so much, but I do like these little damn hero figures, and these are and, and these are good. And eventually, we're going to have the whole crew, so I'm I'm pretty uh, pretty happy about that. I'm going to throw this on my reading pile so I can get a little a little bit more backstory on Shepherd Book, and then of course I think this is going to have to go on my Comic Con lanyard. So uh, with that, I hope you enjoyed the opening and looking forward to the next uh, next firefly crate so let's see what happens so thanks a lot for watching and talk to you later bye